KPI one when i mean KPI like uh, the bar is showing the current year or max year sales on the line which are you are showing uh, which are is like black line uh, this is showing the prior year sales so how is year over year growth uh, it's indicated by this symbol like uh, we we'll like look how to make this get calculate so to get the max year sales we'll just use this max year of order date is equal to year of order date then give me the sales sales for the price. so yeah we are getting the max year sales now to get prior year sales this to duplicate the same edit year year sales So for your information, like uh, we are using LOD here, like this curly bracket traces the LOD, and we are using it here so that we will get some entire data source level, which uh, which is the max year. If it just type simply max year, what it does is for each row it will generate max year for each, but our for each row that year will be the max. To get at an entire data source level, we are using LOD. Here it goes. No, uh, it's okay. We got the max year sales and period year sales. Moving on to the next step, we we'll just pull the max year sales and points, and we will do it in R. R. We'll remove the here from R today. So now we got the max year sales. We'll pull the period year sales in D today. Now we'll go to analytics and create the parcel. And what we want, we want not the max year sales but prior year sales. Then label I know it in label. currently we are showing uh, the sales current year sales in the axis and prior year sales in the line now we will get the year only get a bit year only so at year sales Just use the sign function to so know whether it's positive or negative. We know we don't care about the value, but just the sign. Yeah. Uh, so as you see here, uh, we are just showing it beside. So to make uh, to get some access for the beside one, just we will create a field offset. So in that way, we can get, create calculate field just average of. Minus zero or five percent. Absolutely. Now we will we'll do VLX. Synchronization.
so we are getting uh, it at minus we will just convert it to circle and yeah now we will pull the shape here or here go shape which or you made so, uh, then we will convert it into shape and shapes more shapes Currently, in this case, if you see max area sales is greater than pre area sales, that's why you are getting more ticket item. Our IROs will have to. So, last so, if I pull category or. Now, oh, if you go to sales. Here or here, set will build it to shape. For false, it's showing the below arrow. And for the case which are uh, the current year sales is greater than prior year sales, it will be showing the upper arrow. We will just hide the axis. Make it enter. JRM, you didn't specify the down arrow, right? So you, did it do it automatically, or yeah, true false condition is there. Once you assign, uh, you okay. can just go here and. Hmm? Sorry. Yeah, here we have like true false condition, it automatically assign. In case if it didn't assign, you can just go there and uh, assign. Yeah. And no. to increase the size. The red arrow, it automatically assigned, right? Ah, yeah, the true for true things we have assigned. The earlier okay. case, if you say only segment, we have only one, like all cases are like true. So we assigned upper red arrow for true. And now once we brought category or subcategory into the field, so that case, like for false, it has happened. Okay, got it. 